Hi there YouTube, Sad Womble here. I just thought I'd do a little quick video. This is more of a thought experiment because obviously it'll never happen. But I thought it would be quite fun to try and hold women to their own standards. Now what do I mean by that? Well we know that women are allowed to have standards but men aren't. So, you know, women are allowed to be picky and have requirements for their man. But if you're a man and you have standards for your women, you're just fat shaming or slut shaming or whatever. So I thought what would be quite fun would be to think about the, the things that women all agree on, really, that they, they have as standards that you can't really disagree with, that they use, that they champion, they have clarion calls for. The first one I thought was the most obvious one, which is when, you know, women, they, you know, talk about sex and things, and they go, my body, my choice. And that, that kind of trumps everything. No pun intended. That, that kind of answers everything. So let's go with that one. So, you know, why don't you like me? Well, my body, my choice. Why won't you have sex with me? Well, my body, my choice. Let's see how women would find um, arguing against the concept of my body, my choice. That could be quite fun. The other one is um, a little more interesting, a little more involved. And it involves my version of the 666 rule. So we all know that women have this sort of unwritten rule. Um, you have to be six foot, six inch, six inch cock, and make six figures. And if you don't do any of those three, it's not going to really work. In other words, you have to be, because that's shorthand really for, you have to be tall and attractive, you have to be good in bed, and you have to have lots of money. That's shorthand for that. I thought we could have our own equivalent of that, which is the three N's, which is no kids, no debt and no STDs. Now, how could anyone disagree with those three? Well, we'll start with the no kids. Well, you talk about women and they will always say, you know, I don't want to have his children kicking around. You know, it's my family. Now, of course, women will always say, oh, you know, he has to be able to have my kids. But let's turn it round and say, well, you wouldn't want it if I was bringing children to the table, would you? Oh, yeah, I would. No, you wouldn't. So let's just think, OK, well, why should I have your rugrats if you wouldn't potentially have any of mine? So that's the first one. Uh, no debt. Well, OK, let's turn that one around. Um, what woman would want a basically broke man? And if you think about it, a woman in debt is basically broke because she, has, she owes more money than she has. Therefore, she hasn't got enough money. Think of a debt as just a huge overdraft. In other words, you don't have enough money. And we all know that women want men with money. Oh, yes. So you go, OK, so if you want me to take on your debt, does that mean that if I was literally a bum living on the street with no money, you'd still find me attractive? Thought not. And we'll go with the third one, no STDs. Bit of a tricky one, this, because obviously, you know, an awful lot of women, not all, an awful lot of women have got STDs these days. Now, speaking for myself, I have managed to get to this point of my life. And I have no STDs at all. Yay me. Um, that's by being very careful. And yes, I have been tested because at one point I thought I'd been given something. And I was tested and came a clean bill of health. Hooray. So anyway, but the point of that, the whole point is what woman would actively want to go with a man knowing he got STDs? Because again, why would a man want to specifically... You know, hey, you're so hot, I want to get herpes. I can't wait to get genital herp, uh, genital warts or any of, or chlamydia or any of the other STDs that women spread around. Well, anyone can spread around, not just women. But um, I thought that was quite funny. So you turn those around and say, well, no man would want that, no woman would want that. So no partner in their right mind, male or female, would want somebody with someone else's kids no partner in their right mind would want somebody with huge amounts of debt and no partner in their right mind would want somebody with huge amounts of sexually transmitted diseases so i thought it was quite fun the three ends so yes that was really all i was going to say so that was it just something to think about a little bit of a thought experiment which we all know will never happen so sad womble out